If you're feeling down, I'm gonna get back up. Here's a way to make you feel good. It's Cheers by Sarah. Good morning, everyone. Cheers by Sarah here. With March being Women's History Month, I thought it would be an amazing opportunity for me to put out the full version of my very first series I put on YouTube, which is Cheers to Women. There was six parts, and this is a book I am writing as well, so keep an eye out for the book. I am excited for it to come out. I'm working on Cheers to My Divorce first, and then Cheers to Women should be coming out after that. And I am excited about that. But anyway, um, so Cheers to Women was my very first series, and it really means a lot to me simply because I put a whole lot of heart and soul into it. So please stick with me and listen to it all because at the end, I think you're really going to like how it ends. Um, so here we go. Cheers to Women, the full version. Let's just be real about us women. We are expected to have flawless skin. We are supposed to smile at all times because resting bitch face is the crime of all crimes. Dumbing ourselves down, trying not to intimidate. Covering ourselves up, trying not to initiate. Any unwanted attention or touching because it's in our hands. Instead of making a man stand up and be a man. We can't be too skinny or too fat. I'm pretty sure I saw a meme about that. Expected to put out, but shamed when we sin. And all the while, we need to raise our chins. Be ladylike and hold our head up high. And listen to the put downs as we pass by. Body shamers, big and small, are part of this problem. These ideals get put in our heads before we even blossom. Put us on stage and turn the spotlight on. We should be able to make you laugh or break out in song. Our scripts must be written to please. If it's not perfect, everyone seems to leave. Society has pulled these strings for too long. I'm taking my power back because society is wrong. Some women pay thousands to like what they see, but is that our opinion or is that society's? The pressures we put on each other are impossible. We start setting goals that are implausible. We no longer wear our hearts on our sleeve, afraid to bring ourselves to grieve. Looking in the mirror, hearing what other women say, I'll have to change this and that about myself someday. Being proud of our bodies is horrendous. But in the end, ladies, that's what transcends us. Being able to look at who we really are, accepting ourselves every bit, even our scars. And let's not forget about our monthly guest, this gift that comes as such a pest. It's that time of the month again. I hate when I see you, old friend. Three or four days before Aunt Flo comes to visit, it's difficult to explain without getting explicit. PMS is such a monster. I'd like to report this imposter. I'm bloated all over. I feel like a blimp and I feel disgusting no matter how much I primp. Yes, it is that time of the month. I remember wanting to grow up once. My cramps are trying to kill me and you wonder why I'm a little bitchy. I do bleed for seven freaking days. Bring me chocolate and go away. The happy girls in the tampon commercials are lies. They are smiling and diving and even wearing white. A feeding frenzy, not enough to eat. Be careful around me. It is shark week. When we finally do catch a break, menopause makes it hotter than hell, for goodness sake. I appreciate our bodies and what they can do. But to being on the rag, I say boo. Trying to dress these amazing bodies has become such a chore, making my head so very sore. Clothes shopping has become such an unattainable feat. Unless you are society's version of petite, we can't find shorts, 
that cover our underwear and our jeans, they have pockets that literally go nowhere. Finding a bra that actually fits like it should, everyone stand together in this sisterhood. Side boob, uniboob, under boob, and double bubble, we all know this ridiculous struggle. We suck in, push together, bend and twist for the styles we simply cannot resist. Beauty does equal pain. I mean, these six inch stilettos are worth the strain and clothes come at a great expense. Feels like an ATM ready to dispense. Shopping for ourselves has become so difficult. And then there's added pressure because everyone else is so critical. Screw what everyone else has to say. Just be yourself. I like you that way. We must be young and free. They make anti-aging creams. We must be women, but keep up with the men and we can't have wrinkles on our skin. Our breasts must be perky. Our bodies are the key. Our butts must be lifted and firm. Aging is the worst kind of germ. We give them babies and years of our lives and some, sometimes they trade us in for a younger wife. But we can't be bitter. Oh no, we can't act out because it's not ladylike to pout. Instead, we have to hold it all inside and we use spa days to try and hide. We do everything we can to try to act okay. And we keep trying to better ourselves day by day. Dating as a woman is absolutely crazy. Some guys these days have gotten just a little lazy. If they take you out to dinner and pay, you are expected to be that night's lay. You probably won't get a call back, and if you do, it's a booty call, so you need to tell them to hit the road, Jack. When you post you are single, everybody's down to mingle. They hit you up with cheesy one-liners, and you're a bitch if you politely decline them. You get the guys that talk to themselves in your inbox, ooh, and the dick pics that show their dirty socks. Dating isn't dating these days. You hardly go to dinner anyway. You might as well be ready to run from your date because he most likely won't want to wait. Women are supposed to be supermodels and we should be able to drink whiskey straight from the bottle. We can't lose control of anything, and we should be able to fix our cars and do everything. We need to work to pay our bills, and we need to have sex at their will. So much pressure is put on us from all around. It's so hard to do it all without falling down. We body shame each other when we should be standing together. We pluck our eyebrows to draw them back on. We work out, but we can't get too strong. There's so much more to me than what's between my legs. Just try to get to know me for who I am. I beg. I know a woman's body is intriguing. Explaining I'm not a porn star is a bit fatiguing. You want to put that where? Do you know what comes out of there? I want to be looked at and actually seen. Do you even want to know the real me? I am an independent woman that has been through it all. And I certainly don't need you to continue my life, doll. Now that I've laid out all my bitches and whines, I love being a woman. We are the perfect design. Each nook and cranny is placed beautifully. Our bodies are designed so suitably. We have power in everything we do. We have the power to make our own dreams come true. Ladies, love your bodies, love your mind, love who you are on the inside. Take the negativity out of your world. Be proud of who you are and how you look, girl. Love yourself, you are not done. Only one of you walks this earth, only one. Too many women have gone to bed after they have cried. Every day, we need to look in the mirror with pride. Spread love and kindness everywhere you go and pick up our fellow sisters at their lows. 
There is no perfect size and no perfect way to be. Our flaws make us unique and our scars can set us free. Ladies, being a woman comes with certain responsibilities and we have so many capabilities. Heavy is the crown we wear. And so to all my sisters, all my sisters, I say, cheers. That is my poem, Cheers to Women, a uh, book coming out soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm super excited to announce that I have a new website coming out, cheersbysarah.com, with clothing. And soon, hopefully, I'm getting wine glasses as well. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to visit my website if you'd like. Um, I'm excited to, I'm, it's just, I'm thrilled. Guys, I'm thrilled. It is so neat. You guys have supported me and loved me and helped me so much in my life. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed my poem. And again, like, share, and subscribe. Go pick up your crown. You are good enough. You deserve the kindness and the love. It's Juice by Sarah. For more girl talk, like, share, and subscribe. Girl. Pick up that crown.